Oh, you're both chats? Mm -hmm. Wow. It started there, but it doesn't look like it started over here. No, it started. Oh, on Twitch? <coughs> oh, yeah. All right, there it is. Hello. 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 Zero watching. Zero. You think my camera didn't go there? Zero. One now. One. Hana. Hana. Uno. Uno. What else? Do you, have, <laughs> you don't know any more? Nope. Oh, come on. No mas. No mas. All right. Anyways, Zelina says no. Orton wants to shake your hand. And Meltzer is a D bag. All this and more when we come back. With your hosts, Cody and Chunk. Bada boom, bada bing. So, welcome. 43rd episode of Wrestling Rage. I'm Cody. This guy over here, they call him Chunk. Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Definitely a uh, good time. Make sure you scroll down into the uh, description down there. If you're on a cell phone, what was it? There was a little button. There was a little arrow off yeah, to the right. Arrow. An arrow underneath the video on the right. Click that. That'll open up a whole new little world on your phone. And it'll show the description. Down there, there's links to you can buy a Wrestling Rage t-shirt. You can register an account with Fight TV. Perhaps you want to buy a pay-per-view. Maybe, maybe you want to watch Ring of Honor Wrestling. Because that's free on there, by the way. Not the Ring of Honor pay-per-views, of course. Right, Chunk? So, that's right. All right. So, uh, and also, there is a link for highspots.com. You can buy just about everything your heart desires on High Spots when it comes to wrestling. You can buy a ring. You can buy ropes. You, you can buy boots. You can you, buy tights. That's right. You can buy just about whatever you want. You can even A luchador mask. You can even stream stuff from yeah. highspots.com. Uh, this week in Collector's Corner, I'm going to show off a couple things that I picked up over the weekend. Well, last weekend when I went to uh, Evolve and find out why, you know, we didn't have a show last week. Uh, but I think most of you know because I put it on Facebook. But if you don't know, now you know. They said your hair looks good. Oh, thanks. There's none there. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to go into Collector's Corner. Uh, we're going to show you some of the uh, cool autographs and what have you. So when we come back, we're going to talk about, a little bit about Evolve and roll it into Indies and all that good stuff. So when we come back, Collector's Corner. All right. So uh, I went to Livonia on, what was it? Sunday. Yeah, Sunday for Evolve 111. And, but anyway, so there was two shows. It was a doubleheader. Evolve 111 was at four. And then Progress, an uh, uh, indie promotion out of the United Kingdom, had a show at eight. 
Great show, by the way. So first autograph up here is the future, as I call it, of professional wrestling, Austin Theory. It's autographed up there. If you haven't checked this guy out, you should. I also recommend Darby Allen. Great indie wrestlers, by the way. Uh, and then, so then the next show I got, if you see this here, it's hard, but it's signed by all three of them, British British Strong Style, Tyler Bate, Tret Seven, and Pete Dunne. Uh, of course, they're not the NXT title holders anymore, but Pete Dunne is still the UK. So they, he did have the UK belt there, whoop, which was really cool. And then, um, so with the Progress show, which was really cool, just to talk about it with Pete Dunne. Um, so they opened the show with Tyler Bate on a singles match and they had another match and then tag team match with Pete Dunn and Trent seven against a tag team. Right. Uh, and after their match, so they obviously, well, I went obviously, but they won their match and then they brought a kid into the ring and the kid got to hold the UK belt and put it in his mouth like Pete Dunn does. Right. And it was really cool. Um, and they did the whole mustache mountain thing and it was really cool, uh, to see. Um, but, yeah, so I picked that up, and then, um, where did that go? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got to check this out. He's never prepared. No, I'm not. Definitely not a Boy no. Scout. So, check this out, bro. All right, I found this at uh, the Goodwill, and I got it for a buck. One buck. Come on, man, a dollar? You wouldn't have bought this for a buck? It just needs new batteries. It makes noise. I never had a wrestling buddy. Yeah, well, I now this is my third one. Only the rest, the other wrestling buddies were a little bit bigger. Only in Marysville do you get three wrestling buddies. <laughs> well, and then check this out: a friend, that, a, a friend of ours, well, mine. I don't think you know her, but anyways, she brought me this. It's a Slim Jim can, right? And it's got Macho Man and Gorgeous George on there. See, and I was gonna bring you a really cool. Uh... Charles Woodson uh, bobblehead thing. Oh, yeah? Limited edition, but I didn't because I knew you were going to get all this cool stuff, so I figured I'd keep it. <laughs> I don't even like Michigan. Yeah, but he's still, he's a, he's a Hall of Famer. I might, I might even burn it. Oh, no, that ain't even right. All right, so anyways, that's uh, Collector's Corner for this week. Uh, I don't really have much other than that. I had an accident up here. Some stuff fell down, and I got a... I got to redo everything, and I'm, I'm not happy with it. So don't mind the mess up there. All right, so oh, Jesus, I didn't even realize. we're going to talk about a little more. We're going to talk about Evolve and Progress and a couple upcoming shows in Michigan area. Well, state of Michigan. There we go. When we come back. Awesome. So, yeah, that was cool. I went down there. Um, Evolve was pretty sweet. Matt Riddle had a match. It was really cool. I recorded it. I'm going to put it up on the uh, YouTube there, but I just had to wait. Who do we got over here on Twitch? We got Party. Okay. Hello. Well, wait, go back so I can see what this says. What does that say? Bish, bash, boosh? Who knows, man? I can't see that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm blind as a bat. Who do we got over here? We got some shout outs we need Beals. to make. We got, uh, oh, yeah. BRD is in the chat. Yeah, all right. Um, I saw Mr. Andrew DRC in there somewhere. Yeah, so we got, yeah, there's DRC. We got Billy Ray. We got Mr. Beals. Nice. Nice Mr. to see you guys. Mr. Russell. Hello. Oh, yes, Mr. David Russell. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you guys. Just want to give everybody a big shout out in the chat out there. Uh, so, anyways, bam, smack, bam. Evolve, really good show. I'm telling you, they blew the doors off that uh, Knights of uh, whatever that is. I think You it's know, it's funny. You're not the first person I heard say that. What? That they blew the doors oh, off. Oh, man, it was awesome, man. It was a great show. I had a blast. Mr. Bundy, who we've interviewed, you know, check that out. You can check the interview for Mr. Bundy. Jeff the Ref, he 
refed a few matches there. However, he he was in the main event. He refed the main event of Evolve. Oh, dig it. Yeah, cool. so that was cool. It was cool to be able to be there. Uh, then uh, I'm pretty sure that was Matt Riddle's last Evolve match. Yeah, I believe so. So that's cool. I was Not only was I there for Matt Riddle's last Evolve match, but I have also was there last time for Keith Lee's last Evolve match. So that's cool. Keith I dug Lee that. He's amazing. Yeah, he's a great wrestler, man. And he's got is. a great character. He's just a really nice guy, too. As big as that dude is and how agile he is, it's like phenomenal. Yeah, he, he's really cool, too. He, like, he well, when I went to the last Evolve, he was sitting all by himself in the corner when I first got there. And he, had, he didn't have any 8x10s. He just had t shirts. That's all he had t shirts. That sucks. Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is. I didn't get his autograph, so. I could have had him autographed t shirt, but right. then I wouldn't be able to wear it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, eh. Well, you can, just don't wear it. And wash it. So I can't sweat. Yeah. Which I do which all the all, time. I know. All the time. So I can't do that. However, uh, yes, we are happy. We are happy to see you. Uh, progress, let me tell you, different crowd, boy. Like a punk rock crowd. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Lots of leather, lots of studs, lots of. Lots of piercings, lots of spiked, crazy hair, lots of that. Uh, but it wasn't. Sounds like you went to the Blue Oyster. Yeah, I went somewhere, dude. It was crazy. <laughs> Anyways, it was pretty nuts. Uh, great show. So, uh, of course, I see. I seen Blake Acumen there. Blake was there. Yeah. Yeah, I seen Cyrus. Cyrus was there yeah, as well. Yeah, I miss Cyrus. Yeah, he was there. Uh, he was working the merch table. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but so th- during the show, these people walk in and they're kind of done up, right? So they stopped the show. Like they didn't stop the show, but like in between matches, they were walking in, right? And they're like, so, and they had beers in their hand there. And they're like, so you guys just got married. Apparently they had talked to the people. They had gotten married and then came to progress. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, and they moved their wedding up so that they could go to progress. So they got a big shout out during the show, Dang which it. was cool. And then um, after the show, they they took pictures and stuff in the ring, which was cool too. Uh, now, funny story about the ring. Okay. So it's, it's, I think it was, so we're, I don't know, we're a little bit into, I think it's past halftime. I think it's like the third match before the end right so three two one you get what i'm saying yeah uh and it's a six man match right singles match and i forget i think it was for the number one contender right not sure i can't remember however anyways this dude's name's brody yeah he's like he's got to be six three at least maybe he may be you know six one six three somewhere in there right covered in tattoos big burly dude you know what I mean just huge and he's running the ropes and right in front of me man right in front of me so like you know like the hard cams here right so mm-hmm. here's the hard cam I'm sitting over here front row right over here right towards the middle and this dude hits the middle rope and the top rope snaps. Oh, no. Yeah, top rope snaps. And the dude, so I'm here, the dude, two seats down that way, gets hit in the hand from the rope. Yeah, his hands, his hands started to swell up a little bit. But uh, so they, they, they continue the match. Match ends, whatever. They have a little brief intermission to fix the rope. And they take the top two ropes, or the bottom two ropes, put them up yeah, one. Them up, yeah. Take the bottom one or the top one, bring it down to the bottom and repair it, okay? Well, so then they have the next match, right? That match goes on, the bottom rope goes again, right? Sounds like someone should be calling uh, high spots. Right, well then, (laughs) so then, then they run out, they take the rope down, throw it underneath the ring, then they have the main event, which was a tag team match, and they were luchas, like they were, you know, oh, luchadors. Yeah, so they need the ropes. Yeah, so they were, and they were high flying all over the place. Lots of tag team maneuvers, you know what I'm saying, where they were using each other to right. fling each other up and 
It was, they were awesome, dude. What, the one guy, I believe his name was Bandito. I think it was. Dude was amazing. Dude was amazing. But anyways, um, so they take the rope out. Then they have the main event. But it was a great, I had a great time. Sounds like it. Yeah, I had a Sounds great time. Like it was fun. Yeah, and the, the uh, they were like, oh, you guys are a lively bunch. You know what I'm saying? Because we were all going nuts. It was great. We had a blast. Lots of, lots of in the stands. Um, I forget what the girl's name was, but she was billed as a Russian and she came over the top rope and the dude, me and the dude next to me, she landed right on our knee. Oh, it hurt a little bit, but it is what it is. Lots of good action in the crowd. So I had a blast. Um, definitely was a good time. So we're going to talk about a couple indies here. We got only Michigan appearance. Oh, so this... Girl Fight Live, Sunday, August 26, 7 p.m. at the Legendary Token Lounge, Westland, Michigan. Advanced tickets are $15. Uh, VIP ringside, $10 general admission. Advanced tickets are available right now at TicketWeb.com or the Token Lounge box office. Uh, they're available at the day of the event. Um, so, you know, first come, first serve, obviously. So, But they go up, Okay. Uh, PWAS, which is Pro Wrestling All-Stars of Detroit, which, by the way, I went to their show Friday they had, which Cyrus Satine had a match against El Ridiculoso for the Cruiser Corps Championship. Um, I put that match up. Uh, it wasn't quite as good as the uh, gentleman that did the video. Cyrus Satine is so good. He has his own camera crew. Did you know this? Of course I did. Yes. You found this, out. You just found that out. Yes, I did. Oh uh, man, I've been he has his own like three weeks. They have his own cam crew, and boy, did they make a great video. Let me tell you what I watched it. Um, it was amazing. Great, great stuff. You got to check it out. If you haven't seen it, we posted it. Uh, you know, you can always go to Aqua Bro, Aquabra. Cyrus, Aqua Bro, Aqua Bro. You can go to his. Uh, Facebook page. I think he's got Twitter now too. You go to his yeah, Twitter. Twitter. Check them out, man. They're he's they're pretty a good. Yeah, and you definitely should give them some support because they're you know part of WWN. They work cameras for WWN, and you know they're regular people just like you and I, man. They, you know, one works for Walmart. I don't know what the other one does, you know, but it is what it is, man. They're they're living a dream, trying to get ahead in life, man. So definitely should support those guys. Yeah, match of the night, Billy Ray, definitely. By the way, if you didn't know, I rode with Billy Ray, uh, me and Billy Ray and his two kids. He was all the way in from LaGrange, Texas, and uh, he, he said, let's go watch Cyrus. And I says, you know what? That sounds like a great time. And we hit the road, and we traveled, and we we, we got a road story, you know. So and we went out, we checked out Cyrus there. Uh, it's called Play Atlantis. That place pretty cool. It's like yeah. a, it's like a, have you been there? It's like a tilt, like an old tilt, yeah. like back in the day, but with a little more extreme, right? Like a uh, little better, I could say. It's a lot bigger. Right. No room. You know, they got everything going on in there. But anyways, it was a good time, but it was outside. Great match. Well, they got another one coming up here. It's called Sky's the Limit. It's Friday night, which that's cool. I can go to Friday night shows because I usually have Friday off. However, I have a show to do. <laughs> but they might have to move once... Smackdown yeah, comes on. Hearing. Yeah, once two thousand. Two junk gets a job. Oh yeah, where are you going? Uh, I don't know yet. Oh, two thousand nineteen. Everything's hiring for afternoon shifts. Oh, uh, two thousand nineteen uh, is when Smackdown goes to uh, Fox. So. Oh, we got a while. Yeah, well, not that long. But anyways, so they're having a show August thirty first. Special, another outdoor event. Uh, at their home venue, it's Guinness at Play Atlantis, and that's at Melvindale, Michigan. Twelve bucks. You can't beat that, man. No, no, Twelve no. bucks. Nate Matson's there. That's well worth the twelve bucks, yeah. anyways, right there. And uh, Atlas, Atlas, Atlas Hightower, Hightower, he's a champ yeah, there. He's a champ there. Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, Buddy Hanlon goes in there a lot. There's a bunch of them, man. Dev oh, Lotus, Lotus, Lotus is yeah. tag team Ooh. champs up in there. They're a great tag there. team, you know. So you definitely gotta check them guys out, kids. Uh, are f I believe kids and I believe five and under are five bucks or something like that. Uh, so 
definitely go check that out. And I believe XICW's guy didn't check it out, but I think XICW's got a show coming here soon. Billy Ray would know. Billy Ray would know. When's the next XICW Proving Ground there, Billy Horror Ray? Slam Friday, September 14th at 8, 8 p.m. And that's a ways. That's a whole month away. I know. And I found that one already. Yeah. But, you know, well, it's a ways off. So, right. Yeah, yeah. You know, who wants to When's the next Proving Ground? September 9th is the next Proving Ground. Nice. That's Sunday, September 9th, if I'm yeah, not that's mistaken. that's a little closer. Yep. Um, yeah, I believe Proving Ground are Sundays. Yeah, if you didn't, yeah, oh yeah. And if you didn't know, Billy Ray, he's in Proving Ground there, and he, he's matched up with his vet, who is <sighs> Levi Blue. You know, Levi Blue's getting inducted into the UWE Hall of Fame on, uh, I believe, September uh, September 8th or 9th. Oh, really? Yeah, right around then, I yeah. believe. Cool. Little factoid information That's out right. of the chunk. Uh, what do we call them? Chunk sources? What do we call them? Sources? Yeah, these something are my lo- sources. That yeah. I... Something along them lines. But That's right. definitely a good time, and you're going to want to check that out. The 8th. He's the getting inducted. 8th. So the 8th. Yeah, well, an eighth is the next BWCW show, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So uh, that would be at the um, American Legion there in Port Huron. Okay, so we are going to talk some wrestling news and what we like to call all the rage. When we come back, all the wrestling news in all the rage. <laughs> Yay. Oh, Cadillac. Into Cadillac. All yeah. right. Maybe. So, I have breaking news. No, you don't. Yes, it's breaking news. You ready? Sure. Zelina Vega is not with Austin Aries. Well, that's because Austin Aries chose not to be with Zelina Vega. Well, regardless, I repeat, Zelina Vega is not with Austin Aries. Uh, a fan made a comment via yeah, Twitter. That, yeah. Uh, that has since been deleted, of course, because he well, got yeah, made that look a fool. Yes, yes. Uh, Zelina, uh, so I can't read you the tweet that he wrote because it's gone. Right. Uh, but she responded, I am going to say this once. We are not together and have not been together for a very long time. We were certainly never married or engaged. I moved on a long time ago and do not wish to be associated with him. So... That settles that matter. That's all right. He's got gold, so. That whatever. I'm. I'm not mad about it. I can care. You sound like you're like a little upset. Like no, you're like, really. are you hurting about this or no, something? No, I, I don't know. I don't believe that this. This should have never been a big deal. I, I think it's it was, funny. It was. It was an ill in, ill informed fan that was being very rude to Zelina Vega. Yeah. And I mean the way that she handled it. I applaud her 100% because more than 90% of America would have handled it a lot different, you know, because the guy was being kind of rude to her, and most people would uh, most people would, would have handled it differently. There's my homeboy right there. Good right afternoon. There. Cyrus A.T., what's happening, my man? We was just giving you a big shout-out a little bit ago, man. You missed it. Well, you'll have to go back. You'll have to check us out later and go back and check that out. He's on a he's on a show Sunday. Um, is it this Sunday? I think it's this Sunday he's on a show. I don't know. I'm not familiar with Florida, so you are. Wednesdays. I know he does show. Well, I, yeah, know, but, he, I know he does a Wednesday show. Yeah, that's Proving Ground for ACW. Yeah, for ACW. I'm but then sure he does, he's do, he's on a show. He's on a card Sunday. I'm not sure. I've been out of the loop for a little yeah, while. Yeah, he's on. He's on the card Sunday. So uh, I just don't know what where he he could probably give the information. I just shared the flyer. DWI. There we go. This Sunday. Yes, definitely. Uh, you know, I wish I was in Florida. Florida is sweet. I want to go to Florida. Anyways, it depends on the part. Right. That's true. Like just, but that's anywhere though. You know what I mean? That's anywhere. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Uh so. Big story coming out of the WWE universe. Now, this is a pretty big deal. Allegedly, Randy Orton has an unusual way (laughs) of welcoming new writers to the company. Uh, Former WWE writer Kurt Bauer 
uh, did an interview for the MLW podcast in 2012. Yes, I said that, 2012. Okay. So somebody was listening to old podcasts, again, I guess, and came across this. And Kurt Bauer did this interview, and it said, and this is, quote, this is what he said, for every new writer that would show up, he'd come in the room, put his hand down his pants, pull out his dinky, and I'm paraphrasing there, touch himself, then say, I'm Randy Horton. Shake my hand. Oh, you don't want to shake my hand? You're big leaguing me? That's effed up, man. Should I tell Vince and Steph you won't shake Randy Orton's hand? So, um, it's six years later, right? Six years before anybody realizes... Right, that this happens. Right. That this guy said this. Right. Not that it happens, but that someone actually brought it up. Right, so here we are, you know, six years later, discussing Randy Orton... Sounds like somebody, I mean, sounds like someone should have been doing their homework six years ago. That's, that's you know? right, I'm saying. And I really don't. This is like digging up old tweets. Yes, yes, you know? yes. Six, seven years ago, some guy said something bad on Twitter, and now he's a bad guy in 2008. And I would totally agree with you on you that, know? you know what I'm saying? Because um, people change over yeah, time. Yeah, things change, people mm-hmm. change, you know. Yeah, most definitely. What's, and I, what's accepted, I'm not saying that this has ever been accepted in right. any any place or business ever, but certain things are looked at differently as well too. Oh yeah. You know, so you know, you gotta watch what you say, which we will talk about something about something like that tonight. Yeah. You know, but you gotta watch what you say and how you say it. Oh, and yeah. if you say it you better take credit for it. You know what I mean? Uh you better apologize, of course. But yeah, that's I, I'm I feel the same way. And then so let me see, what was the name of this place? F4WOnline.com yep. reached out for a statement from WWE, and they say they're looking into the matter. Right. So most likely nothing's going to come of it. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah. So. <laughs> and actually, um, someone on Twitter actually asked, uh, who was the guy? Um, Kurt Bauer said, hey, did this really happen? And he said 100%. Yeah. So. I mean, and that, Still. but that was in 2018. Yeah. The guy asked him, hey, yeah. did this really happen? And he's like, yep, sure did. Most definitely. Uh, so, NWO member and WWE Hall of Famer Kevin Nash, or Diesel, right, has become a heavyweight champion at the age of 59. Nash defeated Flex Armstrong to become the big time wrestling heavyweight champion. Uh, and then, of course, there's uh, more news coming. That uh, did you? I didn't. I didn't know this. I was doing some research today. You know, going through stuff, and I was. I did not know that Nash, Hall, and Hogan owned fifty percent of the rights to NWO. Yeah. I had no yeah, idea. That was that was part of the the contract that they signed. That ex- or what was it called? Uh, yeah, the exclusive contract or whatever. They they got fifty percent of all their. Uh, uh, creative ideas. Right. So anything that WCW used, they got fifty percent of. Well, and and that transferred into yeah. WWE, and I had no idea. But so the they're slated for a big announcement October twenty seventh. Okay. Who? The NWO. Oh. They're reuniting, and there there was a video. Th- montage thingy majig that they did online and with all three of them they're gonna go on a world tour could be uh and hogan is the, on jericho's cruise oh i didn't know that yeah this is late thing i didn't know that yeah so and there's talk that he may show up at all in i, I did hear i heard yeah. murmurs of that yeah but i brushed him under the rug people are there's some people that are right ticked. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. He doesn't represent the indie scene, did it? Dude. Who cares? It's Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. NWO Bullet Club makes doesn't, sense to me. It doesn't matter if he represents the indie scene or not. He represents wrestling and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Not just about indies. You right. know, because every indie guy 
that is representing the indie scene right now is trying to get to the WWE. Right. So. Yep. I, not every guy, but well, almost. 90% of them, yeah, I'm I sure. I mean, you're like, Cody Rose really could care less. He's already <laughs> been there. You don't need to be there <laughs> Exactly. Again. But I'm uh, sure he will be eventually. Yes. Uh, it was an historic night for WWE Raw on Monday night because it was the first time in the show's history that a woman announced for the show. Renee Young, who happens to be Dean Ambrose's wife, by the way, announced Raw play-by-play. It was pretty cool. Uh, you know, again, here we are. Women are taking over. And that's not a bad thing. No, I'm, just, not, I'm, no. just, I'm just saying, you better watch out because here they come, you know. Um, just tickets. Like everything, women are taking over. <laughs> Tickets went on sale for the 100, or excuse me, 1,000th, 1,000th episode of SmackDown, which will take place Tuesday, October 16th, 2018, from the Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. And your boy, Undertaker, has been announced to appear at the event. And you know, they don't even have to announce anybody else. They, one name... Sold the place out, guaranteed. Well, don't you think it was, should also be fitting that The Rock be there? I mean... Well, he did make the show. That's what I mean. It it's like... His show. Right. Literally. His. So, right. Like, he... The name... He invented that show. Right. So... Oh, okay. You're right. Uh, so, WWE Hall of Famer and owner... Well, I guess part owner of Global Force Wrestling is suing Anthem, the owner of Impact Wrestling. Uh, for copyright infringement. So it's a 26-page lawsuit. Of course, I didn't read the entire lawsuit. Wow. How, but that's a lot to read. It's only 26 uh, pages. So I went out and I got the chart, like what they're accusing. So first one, violated state and federal trademark infringements in relation to GFE. Violated Jeff Jarrett's exclusive property rights to his own name, photograph, and other likeness. The Anthem has used a reproduction, counterfeit, copy, or col- colorable imitation of the Global Force Wrestling and GFW trademarks in commerce. Therefore, they are in violation of the Latham Act, which prohibits trademark infringement, trademark delusion, and false advertising. Jeez. The lawsuit also claims violation of the Latham Act through alleged acts of unfair competition that were done with the intent to deceive the public into believing that goods and services offered or sold by defendants are made by and approved by, sponsored by, or affiliated with GFE. That Anthem caused products and or service to enter interstate commerce designated with the variations of the Global Force Wrestling and GFW trademarks. The filing claim defendants use of said designation and other representations constitute a false designation of origin, which is likely to cause confusion, to cause mistake, and deceive as to the affiliation, connection, or association of defendants with GFE and as to the origin, blah, blah, blah. Right. So, unfair, comp- blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Sounds like they just used his name or uh, his picture to sell some shows right that's what it seems like maybe allegedly yeah Yeah, that's what it seems like but i mean right until they see the facts you know right okay so wwe has hired impact's head coordinating producer and video editor uh james long okay uh james was heavily involved with the broken universe of the hardys right uh, and during the stint with that they did with Impact, <clears throat> but <clears throat> he's had a he's been a key player in Impact's game, and now he's in WWE, uh, which and there's rumors going around, and I know that he competed. However, uh, Matt Hardy has some injuries, I guess, and there's talk that he may be transitioning right. into a producer role. Right. So this kind of makes sense, you know what I mean? And they have, uh, what's his name? Not Borat, Borash, Borash, right? Yeah. They have that guy too. So, and he was 
in production as well yeah. with Impact. Now, this is we were talking, we kind of hinted to this previously in the show, but Dave Meltzer, right? D bag Meltzer. I call, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Meltzer, never have been, never will be. I don't even say the man who will remain nameless. I don't even right. use that guy's name. All right. So he's under fire for some comments he made during a show regarding Peyton I Royce. I wish he was underwater. <laughs> that, wow. Man, that, whoo, that was harsh. But anyways, he said he made a statement that, you know, she was lighter. Right? That yeah, he, yeah. When she yeah. Was, Back when she was a little lighter. Right. You know, and, and. In this day and age, and even you should never do that, dude. You know, I would never, you know, think about it. That you, when you're married, you know, you don't say things like that to your wife. Oh, well, you don't. Wait. Do these pants make my butt look big? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Right. You know what I mean. You don't talk I love about you and a your woman's hair looks wonderful weight. tonight. You don't do it. You just don't. Do it. You shouldn't talk about first. You shouldn't talk about anybody's weight in the well, okay. in the manner that he that he was talking about it. Right. It's whether it be male or female. It's not. It's totally it's demeaning. Yeah, it's it demeaning. Is. I agree. Chauvinistic to, in a way as and well. And to demean somebody, it's it's not it's not right. No, you know, I, it's I not agree. humane. No. Nope. So, but I'm I'm glad Meltzer's under fire. Yeah. I mean, this guy. He's, he, he's garbage in my eyes. Yeah. You know, he's uh, and a lot of the WWE. Oh yeah. Roster. Hey, did you see Seth Rollins' reply? Oh no, I didn't. Six stars. <laughs> yeah, right. Six stars, yeah. Dave Meltzer. Six stars, Dave Meltzer. That's great. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. So it was it was one of the best responses. Oh. Well, and then she responded too, and you know he apologized. He he issued an apology. So what? Too late. Right. Right. Sorry. I know. Too and late. then he did like a 26 or 36 minutes on his show of just apologizing and, and basically trying to unbury himself. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know? Too late. Sorry, yeah, but bro. the shots are fired and you've already yeah, done it. Sorry, and man. The, just the shake is the stick. But the thing is, though, is like, and, I, I, and you and I both are in a lot of wrestling groups, and I know the internet sucks, but for what we do, we, I, we have to be on Facebook yeah. and we have to, you know, interact with people. And I, I have to refrain from commenting. Oh yeah, on a lot of things. Yeah, because on a the lot thi of things, yeah. You see how chauvinistic and ignorant men truly are. It's like, oh my God, the way they talk. You know, it's just like, ah, I Ugh. So yeah. let's move on. <laughs> have you ever wait before we do, have you ever seen uh go Google Al Snow shoots on Meltzer? Really? You I've will love you will love yourself for doing it. Um, I love myself a lot already. Yeah, I I understand that, but you'll love yourself a lot more. I promise yeah. because it's great. My light shines pretty bright. Uh, let's see. Here. Really, it's only a birthday candle. No, it's lights real bright. You need some shades, homie. No, I'm good. All right. <laughs> so, the Big Show has not retired. He signed a new contract with WWD and is expected to return to the ring soon. Uh, during an interview with ESPN.com, uh, he, he was uh, he revealed he will be meeting with the WWE doctors before SummerSlam, and he's hopefully going to get the all clear to return to the ring. He had hip surgery and they, he had a few complications, one of it, which yeah. was a, like an infection. Yeah. And so it's put him out a little longer. It's been a year you know, and he's been on the ring. Hip hip surgery that's like that's one of the worst you realize that right like yeah. like my grandma uh, she was 87 or something like that she fell she was in i mean decent health she wasn't like huge healthy you know but she was i like, think they're talking about your shirt you want to know if there's anything under the lovers I, you probably gotta stand no, up I'm you're not so standing up. <laughs> then, you, then you can really see how short I am. <laughs> no, uh, there's nothing under the lovers. There you Just go. That. There you go. Um, I forgot what I was talking about now. It, it's okay. So Triple H, Triple H, has asked was asked during a media call. So they have these media calls because they're investors and all that stuff. But anyways, right. he asked if uh, NXT would be moving to FS1. 
because there's been a lot of rumors about it. And he said everything is on the table, uh, but he doesn't know right now as they're focused on focusing on all the current deals. So let's I, let's worry about getting SmackDown transition yeah, into to, Fox. Yeah, we have to finish things before right. we can start. And then music. we'll worry about the or, other or, stuff. Well, maybe not completely finished, but pretty, you know. Right. We can see the finish line, so now we can start our next our next deal going. Right. But definitely. You know, so I uh, hope they don't I hope NXT doesn't go to FS1. I hope so. I hope not either. That'll be I in just, my uh, eyes, that'll be the downfall of the network. Of the network. But I mean they do have really. a lot of exclusive content, but right. I think that NXT is a big draw for the network. But I think I think more people subscribe to the network just to get out of paying the 60 bucks a month for the pay-per-view that well i'm that you know would I mean? that's not a ten dollars a month for do they even still have pay-per-views on cable oh, yeah. i didn't oh, yeah. even know I just, you know i just got new new all new equipment okay. from xfinity right and i can talk to my remote Ooh. yeah and uh tell it what i want to watch you know hey i want to watch wrestle rage and it'll bring up youtube and it'll go to wrestle rage that's cool yeah but uh Anyway, I said you got high dollar cable. I said I said I want to watch wrestling, right? And it brought up uh, pay per view, SummerSlam pay per view uh, uh, advertisement, fifty nine ninety nine. Holy smokes! And I laughed so hard. No, you know, if you could integrate your WWE network or your WWE subscription into your box, that'd be I cool believe too. I believe I can. I believe I can do something like that i'm not yeah. sure though now see i ain't all high class and high dollar like you chunk yeah, now you whatever. you talk about me being from marysville and having some wrestling buddies you're over here got remotes that you're talking to well, right everyone, you're talking to it you're telling i want to watch wrestling and it brings up roh or whatever yeah but everybody i ain't got that, that man everybody that's a comcast customer if you get cable tv gets that I don't have ca- I don't have well, cable. Well, that's because you ain't got new cable. I don't have cable. I, I got new cable. I ain't got cable at all. It's nine ninety nine. I get two through thirteen. I have internet. Well, actually, that's I don't it. Get, I don't even get thirteen no more because they changed that to ESPN. So mm. I only get two through twelve. Yeah. Well, I don't and, get none of that. And four of the stations are home shopping networks. No, I don't get none of that. So, anyways, big big baller chunk over here. Yeah. Big balling. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, NXT takeovers tomorrow. I forgot. Which is cool. <laughs> I forgot it was SummerSlam weekend. Oh man. I haven't watched wrestling in a few weeks. So, so what well, Brook? Yeah, Brooklyn, right? Brooklyn tomorrow. Uh, so there was gonna be a three-way match, but now it's just a. a yeah, cause uh, oh boy, got injured. Yeah, it's um. Excuse me, Gar- Gargano and uh, Champa. Champa, yeah, Tommaso Champa, yeah. And for it was the title, they have Alistair Black in it, but he got uh, he got beat up backstage or something. Well, like he's that. really he's injured, but yeah. Anyways, he's not injured. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No kayfabe. Shh. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm uh, pretty interested in, to see if they're gonna put the strap on that guy. Which one? Gargano. Oh, I was going to say, they already put it on Chapa's. So. Yeah, well, duh. So I'm oh, really well, interested. I can tell that. your beard kind of looks like his. Yeah, and then uh, SummerSlam is Sunday. Of course, I am not. I won't be able to watch that the day of because I have to work. But um, We didn't do picks. It's all right. We don't have to do picks. What? No, no picks. We got 15 minutes, dude. We, don't, we got re- legit wrestling questions. Yeah, nobody's going to ask any good wrestling questions. Okay, whatever you say. Mr. Chuck. Weir isn't here. I don't care. <laughs> uh, so, there are those. Hurry up, man. We gotta I'm do, trying. If you want to do some, let's just do SummerSlam. Let's yeah, not that's do, what I'm doing. Or let's do NXT. Let's do TakeOver. Right, let's just do TakeOver. Because SummerSlam is boring NXT. anyways. <laughs> it is. It's so boring. I know I, I don't. I I'm don't not even really why, interested in watching. I don't know why they uh, why they make made such a big deal about it. This is the biggest party of the summer. Well, that's what it's supposed. It's supposed to be that mid to yeah, but it's WrestleMania. Not. You know, I don't know. It's just it's not that big of a deal to me. Man, you are slow. It's not me. It's your internet. Not my internet. Yeah, it's got to be, dude. I'm not working on my internet. Yeah, well, maybe it's your crappy computer. No. No? No, here it is right here. 
Oh, okay, because look at that. Yeah, you went to WWE.com. I just, I just Googled it. See? Good luck. What do you mean, good luck? Good luck. All See, right. Click, click, click. You did it. Took as long as I did. Last man standing. Okay, we'll start at the bottom. We got EC3 versus Velveteen Dream. Oh, yeah, I did. See? See? Look at you. That's the I just did. I did well, that's what I did, too. And you're like, oh, you're so slow. Who you got? EC3 or Velveteen Dream? Velveteen Dream. I'm going to say EC3. And then we got the NXT Tag Team Championship match. Uh, Undisputed Era Ooh. versus Mustache Mountain. Undisputed? No, Mustache Mountain. That's where I'm going with that as well. Because I, I expect Undisputed Era to be moved up soon. Right. Uh, North American Championship match. Adam Cole versus Ricochet. Adam Cole. I say Ricochet. Uh, NXT Women's Championship I match. I have a pen to write this Shayna Baszler versus Kyrie Sane. Baszler. I say Baszler as well. Last man standing match for the NXT Championship. Tommaso Ciampa or Johnny Gargano. My heart says Gargano, so I'll just go with Gargano. I say Ciampa. Yeah, I... Tommaso Ciampa is probably right now my favorite superstar. In the WWE. In WWE? Yeah. Well, mm. yeah, because Cyrus' team. Mm. So. I don't know. I got a lot of guys I love. We so know. Much. We know you got a lot of love for a lot of guys. We know. <laughs> it's it's not like that, man. <laughs> oh, dude, listen to this guy. You <laughs> suck, man, for real. What a... What a <laughs> God. God. Uh, so... Dope, he says. Gargano. Gargano. Who's got VD? Oh, no. <laughs> it says VD. Velveteen Dream. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. Who's got VD? <laughs> She's got VD. When he said who's got VD, he meant who's got VD and who told you. <laughs> oh, I hate you, John. Oh, uh, so. Uh, anyways. Oh, that was great. So, let's do some legit. Oh, Beals, man, I used to like you, dude. Not so much now. But let's do some legit wrestling question, huh? Here we go. Bada boom. So, legit wrestling questions. While we wait, I'll sit here and I'll talk. About guys. No, I won't do that. However, I whip, man, I, I'm going to have to give you a good sidekick to the throat. I'm not afraid. Yeah, okay. Anyways, so uh, make sure that you scroll into the description. Also, down on the right, if you're on a phone, there's a little arrow. Click the arrow. We That's learned right. that because Beals couldn't find it. That's right. Yeah, click that little arrow. That'll bring up the description. Down there, you can buy a t-shirt. WrestlingRage.com. Or no, excuse me. ProWrestlingTees.com slash WrestlingRage. You just click the link. You don't have to type all that out. And that'll take you to our Wrestling Rage uh, page on Pro Wrestling Tees. You can buy a Wrestling Rage t-shirt or Chunk Equals Ratings. You can go to, where else can we go? Oh, our website. You can go to our website, yeah, too. Yeah, the website. .com and, that, and over to the right on the, on, the, on the page, there's all kinds of links for all that good stuff. You can go there, click that stuff, go to High Spots, Fight TV, yada, 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 register, buy stuff. Yeah. Chunk sucks. Did I say it out loud? Oh, yeah. I thought... Well, I looked at the chat because I thought maybe so. I was like, "What? Who said that? I can't believe people would say that." About what? And then I was like, "Oh well." D nobody, oh, does Ambrose turn on heel on Sunday? Oh, you know, I don't want him to, but I feel like it would work. Did I miss something? You haven't been paying attention. Hey, it's getting Ambrose back. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know. 
Yeah, I told you I've been, I I haven't watched wrestling in probably almost a month, man. So you think it would ruin his comeback? But wouldn't it be perfect? It's perfect. It's all set up. Um, I see both sides of the. I see like I. I don't want him to, but I see both sides of the coin. I it make. Why not? You know what I mean. It makes perfect sense. No, because if you can see both, this is the way it goes with WWE. If you can see it happening, they completely go the other way. If it mm. works and it works well and it can continue, it has continuation. Normally, that's not what they do. Is that a word? Continuation? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, of course. Somebody looked that up. I am right now. I'm going to show you. I don't... No, see... I, <laughs> that's not how it works. Sure a, thir- it is. a third party I mean, has to look it up. No, it can't be you. Yes, that's not how can. it works. That is not I mean, how it works. I'm not Donald Trump. You can do... So, anyway, so Billy Ray asked if uh, does Ian Bros turn heel on Sunday, uh, and Chunk has some... That don't mean it is a word. I know. I know. Watch. Uh, so, I hope not. I feel it would ruin his comeback. I'm not really sure. Okay, so it's a word. Thank you. Good job. I'm good at All English, right. man. Talking is my thing. You know that. If not, he waits till Monday after he helps him win the IC title so he can get a title shot. Now, there. That, look at that. Beals, why aren't you working for the WWE writing, dude? There you go. So Veal says, uh, if not, he waits till Monday after he helps him with the IC title so he can get a title shot. Now, they're, they're, man, some, some people are thinking now, right? We're thinking outside the conventional box. Yeah. I, I don't want him to, but it makes sense to me. Does it do anything for his character other than people not liking him? It's definitely not going to help with merch sales. Dead. Well... It might. Well, for the guy, people, for the people that like people the, enjoy, yeah, people yeah. like the bad guy. Some of them, yeah. Not everybody does though. Um, like I wonder what kind. Like I wish that you could see merch sales, like like stocks. Right. See who's yeah yeah who, who's who, who's going where. Because I'd really like to see like where Champa is. You know what I'm saying? Like on merch sales. Oh man, I or bet like because everybody through the roof. Because everybody always says like, oh, everybody boos Roman, but he's. Always top dog when it comes to the sales. How true is that, really? That's very true. How do you know? Every, every child. Look in the crowd, man. That don't mean every nothing. Every kid in the crowd that has either a nothing. John Cena t-shirt or a Roman Reigns no. t-shirt. Every I want to see the numbers to prove it. And, I don't want somebody just to say it. it is and the way and it is. No. wrestling fans like you and me, when we go, we'll buy the kid a shirt and us a shirt. But guess, the everyday but fan kid. would just buy the kid a shirt. See what People I'm saying? Are still cheering. Well, I get that. I, I'm not saying that they wouldn't. I, anyway. But there's got to be a way that you can see it. Somewhere. That's what I mean. There's I would really like to somewhere. see that. Real numbers. I don't want to see made up fantasy. Oh, so th- there's like five kids that sit in that section and have that shirt on. So he must sell thousands of shirts. No, I'm not. No, that's not. It doesn't work for me. Oh, well, if that's true, Mr. Beals, I think I should be. A writer. <laughs> All right, so I, I that, is a, that is a legit question right there. All right, we'll get to it in a second. Hold on. I have too much wrestling knowledge for them to hire me to write you to write. You have to know nothing about the sport. Okay, right on. Uh, let's see. Do you think that the announcers take their shoes off during the show? I mean, they're sitting there for three hours. You know, I don't have my shoes on right now, so yeah. And I only sit here for an hour. I would say a guy like Michael Cole probably does. But someone like JBL, no. No, no, no. no. way. He's not struggling with those cowboy boots just yeah. for just to have a couple of hours of yeah. you know. But I think I think uh I think I would believe that uh a guy like JR is probably sitting there in mm. a pair of uh in a pair of sandals. Two thousand dollar shoes or, in a sandal. Yeah, I don't see that. Sandals or in some slippers or something like that. I don't that. even see that guy wearing sneakers. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. No, I I just don't see it. I really don't. But I believe Michael Cole is probably down there barefoot. Oh, you know what we forgot to mention is uh, tickets went on sale last Friday for. Um, Border City Wrestling's return yeah. to Detroit. And Sammy Callahan's going to be there. Sammy. Man. 
Sammy Callahan, Kira Hogan, Tommy Dreamer. Uh, she is in Impact. She's uh, yeah, she's cool. She's like a fiery. She's fiery. But then um, who else is going to be there? Impact, Johnny Impact. I almost asked if she was Hulk Hogan's daughter. But Sadell. Right. No. Brooke, Brooke Hogan. Yeah. Sadell is going to be there. She wasn't a wrestler, was she? No. That was around the time I quit watching Impact. It was when all that when she came in there. <laughs> Beal says, I hear that Chunk does the show without pants. That's why Cody sits so far away. <laughs> well, you know, there's got to be room. Well, there's that. Well, and you got to see the belts. Man, that, those are aesthetics, man. And actually, it's not Cody sitting so far away. It's me running away from him. I mean, I'm closer to the exit. That's me holding my breath. Anyways. So we're getting towards. Well, I got my shoes on. Yeah. Okay. And that's we're getting towards the end of the show. Listen, guys, I want to say thanks for everybody uh, joining us tonight. Big shout out to Billy Ray. Thanks for the ride down to go see our boy Cyrus Satine down there at the uh, Pole Wrestling All Stars of Detroit show last Friday. That's why we didn't have the shows because we went down and seen our boy. Put on a hell of a show. Let me tell you, these guys blew the doors off. Uh, they really did a great job and it was the match of the night in my opinion. And, and that's all that matters anyways. No, I'm just joking. Uh, but it was the match of the night, both them, him and El Ridiculoso put on a hell of a show. Uh, it was in an outdoor ring. It set the, set the stage and there was a lot of high flying, great, great stuff going on out there. Definitely enjoyed the match. And I, you know, if you haven't checked it out, you can go to our YouTube. It's on there. You can go to Cyrus Say. You can like Cyrus Satine's Facebook page. I, he's got a, all a lot of his matches up there. A lot, of them. a lot of them up there, so you can check those out. Billy Ray Daniels, big shout out. Make sure you give him a like up on his stuff too. He's got he's got his Facebook page going. I'm not sure if he has Twitter yet. Cyrus has Twitter. Mr. Beals. Thanks for joining us tonight. Nice to see you. Mr. DRC was in here. Big shout out to you. Mr. Russell, thank you so much. David Russell, thank you for joining us our tonight. Only, you got to mention our only viewer on Twitch. Oz. Uncle Oz. Oh, we did get another one. I forgot. Dude T-A-C. Dude Tech. That's a... Uh, that's, uh, you goofy B word. That's, Co- that's Corey. What's up, Corey? If you're still watching, how you and doing, man? Nice to see you. Was our very first and for the only one for a long time in there. Dude Tech, Dude Tech, Dude Tech over there on Twitter. All right, and now one more one or more, Twitch. One more uh, legit question here. Oh, WWE's worst mistake on not signing a certain worker. Not signing. Um, mm. I'm gonna go with. Uh, it's not it's not that they didn't sign this guy, it's how long that they waited before they signed. I think him. I already know what you're gonna say. AJ Styles. Ooh, no, I didn't I believe I believe that was the biggest mistake Vince ever made in his entire Yeah, he did have WWE. a tryout too and they didn't he sign did, him. Yeah, I remember he was him. talking about and that. This guy is look at him. He's arguably the biggest superstar in wrestling right now. Yeah, that's not I and just to go to a different place, you know, be, Sting. Yeah, they, Sting. They, you know yeah, what I mean? That's Another right. one. That's who I thought you were going to say because when you they, said that. Well, actually, he he had a he had a tryout mm-hmm. early '80s in in WWF. Yeah, and he and, and he and, didn't. They didn't sign him. Well, they it, signed Hell uh, Hellwig. Yeah. But they didn't uh, Ultimate Warrior, but they wouldn't sign Sting. I don't know why they were a tag team. For well, God's sti- sake. well, and even Ultimate War- or Warrior said he wanted to go in a different direction. Right. So, but good question out there. Definitely Tessa Blanchard. Well, that's a good one. You know, I think, to my understanding, what I heard about that one is is that they didn't really like her attitude. It's my understanding is that she had a bit of a, a bit of an attitude back when she the first time she came through when she did the May Young Classic. So. Uh, they didn't really like that too much, and then you know what? They're, they'll eventually sign her. It's just going to be time. They want to give her time to mature, obviously. And look at she's an impact, and she's the uh, knockouts, right? They call them knockouts yep, over knockouts there. She's the knockout champ now. So 
Uh, I don't think that's been on TV yet, but yeah, seeing, I don't think so. seeing that we're so close to where they tape these things. We're a month. Yeah, but they don't. It's crazy. Impact waits like a month I know. to a month and a half. And the only way you can beat anything. that is by doing live. Right, yeah. You know? And, I mean, not a lot of people are going, oh, you know, to like a, a dark matches and going, oh, so-and-so did this, unless it's like a major title change. Right. You know, and a lot of times they don't do any title changes. There's only been a few times. Like AJ won the world title from who? Kevin Owens or something like that once. No, that was, you know, not too big of a deal. Anyways, all right. Well, so here we are. We're at the end of the night. It's the end of the show. Wrestling Rage. Guys, make sure you join us every Friday. We're on twitch.tv slash wrestling rage. We're also at r2u2.com. R2, yes, U.S. title. Thank you. Thank you for the correction. Uh, R2YouTube.com. That's our uh, YouTube. You know, you go there. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that if you haven't already and you're sitting here, give us a big thumbs up. Please, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Please. We really appreciate it. And we will see you guys next week for another Wrestling Rage Live. On YouTube and Twitch. They call me Cody. They call me Chunk. Sometimes. And we're out of here. <laughs>